Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with The Long Dark, the Faithful Cartographer run. Uh, last episode we were up in this um, abandoned lookout. We needed to map this as one of our locations. And I ate some uh, I ate some bad food just after I stopped recording. <laughs> I think it was uh, maybe some bad bur uh, beef jerky or something. It was like 18% uh, quality. I, unfortunately, I got food poisoning. Oh, it was a candy bar. Okay, candy bar. Uh, so we can drink some uh, Rishi, Rishi tea or take some antibiotics. I think I'm going to take... I'm so tired. I could just lay down right here. Antibiotics. And we're super tired. So we're going to eat some more food here. And maybe just drink some... Uh, drink some pop here. And eat something else. Maybe some sardines. And let's see here, we've got food poisoning, take that, and then recovery time is 10 hours. We're actually going to lose condition uh, while we've got food poisoning. Maybe we'll eat some more sardines. And we're kind of low on water, actually. I did break down the furniture as well uh, in this room. There was a turned, overturned chair and a table and stuff. Just to make some wood. Maybe we'll make some water when we wake up in the morning. Let's sleep the max. Well, not the max, but let's sleep for 10 hours here. While we wait wait for the sun, sun to come up, maybe we'll boil some water. Before we continue to explore. Okay, we're healed of food poisoning. Oh, we got an aurora. Let's go check that out real quick. That's cool. It is minus 15 out. Uh, sun is still coming up. Oh, we can sleep a bit more, actually. Let's do that. We're going to sleep. Drink the last bit of our water here. Get um, a couple hours in. Get that sun to rise. Yeah, we gotta we gotta boil up some water. Oh, we got nice uh, nice clear weather here. Let's. Uh, I'm just gonna use matches since we have lots of matches. We could probably go outside and use the magnifying lens, but we'll just use some sticks. Seventy percent chance. Yeah, that's fine. Boil up some water, and then where should we head next? I'm not sure where I want to go next. To be honest. Maybe out to the two different islands? Or since we're up here... Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Let's add I some... Oh, I also broke some, down some trees. I think I did that last episode, though. Let's, uh... We got lots of wood here, that's good. Burn some of this. I would drink almost anything about now. We'll get some water boiling. There's only one burner on the stove, unfortunately. Let's go check our uh, check our weather here. Nice clear day. Yeah, we could have started a fire with mag lens, but temperature is 20. Oh yeah, I'm so used to playing on interloper where this would be like minus 20. But uh, I think we'll probably leave a lot of this wood here since we're pretty overweight. I might take some of it with me. Let's uh, pass time here, though, and boil this water up. Oh, I should have boiled a smaller amount so that I could drink. Maybe we'll eat the peaches and we'll get some liquid from those. Otherwise, we'll take a little bit of condition damage from being thirsty. So that sounds like it's a little bit windy out there. Okay, we're going to drink this right away. That gave us uh, 1.3 liters. We got 22 minutes on the fire. Let's burn a bit more. We'll do another liter, maybe. Another liter. Always check your stove. Make sure you don't run out of <laughs> fuel. Sometimes I uh, just pass time and. How are we doing weight-wise? 47. Pretty heavy. Fur firewood's pretty heavy. I'll drop one of those. 
Uh, we don't need all these cans. Drop some of those. We got two stoves on us. Or two pots, I mean. Check the temperature here. 19. Okay, we're gonna head out, I guess. We'll leave that wood in case we return in the future and need a, to light a fire. An emergency fire. We could go all the way down the hill, but I think I'm gonna head out. <clears throat> head to the. Uh, you can attach a rope here if you find one, by the way. To do a climb down, and then there's another climb. Wow, the wind is really blowing. And there's another climb down. And there's some ruined uh, houses down there. I see some bunnies running around. We'll take the uh, the long way down though. I'm fairly familiar with this map, but not uh, 100%. We'll grab this uh, old man's beard. We probably won't won't need it, but since it's here, we'll grab it. Good for antiseptic. Grab a few sticks, but we're pretty heavyweight right now, so I'm not going to grab too many. Okay, that's probably good. There's um, an entrance to the Pleasant Valley. It's somewhere up here. I can hear a deer running by. <laughs> Yeah, there's a coal mine entrance along here somewhere that leads to Pleasant Valley, and it has tons of coal in it. But we're gonna head west and just map as we go. I think I forgot to get the charcoal out of the fire. Let's check how much we have. We have nine on us, so that should be good. I've been playing my other interloper base quite a bit. It's, I'm at day 143, haven't died yet. I've been stuck in the same zone, uh, coastal valley, coastal highway, sorry. And uh, I'm about to like change zones, I think. I've, I've managed to build, uh, make a bear skin coat in that uh, playthrough. Okay, now we're starting to get cold. This is map here real quick. We are going to get a little bit colder doing that, but... Okay, just going to head this way. What was that on the map? Or just showing climbs, okay. Maybe we should eat some food while we stand in the cold. Um, this stuff's pretty heavy. This stuff never, never spoils, I think. Keeps forever, yeah. So maybe I shouldn't have eaten it. But it is uh, pretty heavy. Gives liquid and uh, liquid and solid food. I think the road kind of wraps around here. This might actually be the coal mine entrance up ahead. could pop inside. It's a pretty big mine. Probably won't farm it for all the coal, but uh, assuming, assuming I'm in the right place. Yeah, running into the wind takes a lot of energy, especially when you're carrying this much stuff. Let's take a little peek here. Is that the way to the mine? Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Down here. Looks like the road just goes down that way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the mine. Not 100%, but. E yep, here it is. We'll pop inside, warm up, grab a bit of coal, but I'm not gonna go all the way into the zone because there's so much. Or not zone, but. This should pop up a new location as well, I think. We'll go to Pleasant Valley eventually. 
Let's do a mapping here. I guess this is not a, lane, a, a named location. Thought it was. But uh, to abandon mine. Dark in here. Grab a flare. Let's get our lantern out so it's easier to see. Yeah, so there's a lot of coal, a lot of coal in here. I think I got like 20 pieces when I came through here. I turn fuel. Someone was someone was reading the paper on the john. Got some random water sitting there. Now this mine, oh yeah, yeah this mine, like I said, leads to Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley is actually not that pleasant. It's pretty damn cold in Pleasant Valley. I'll grab a bit more coal and then we'll, uh, really I should grab it all, but uh, that's not part of the mapping exercise. There's some other stuff in here, but we'll explore this later when we head to Pleasant Valley. Or if we need more coal, we'll come back. We've fully warmed up, so I think we can move on. What's our weight like now? 48. Carrying around a lot of stuff. Sometimes there's stuff hidden in these. 30 minutes of hatch. Yeah, let's check. Let's see. Anything in there? Nope. Uh, that one's going to take longer. We'll just drop the reclaimed wood. We don't need that anymore. We'll leave it here in case we need it someday. Drop a stick as well. Okay. Let's head out. I need to head back to the gas station to drop off some stuff. We are carrying around, around a lot of stuff. And we're getting pretty tired here as well. But maybe we'll just do... We're kind of... Going to continue heading kind of west. Mapping as we go. Try to find all those named locations. Kind of deal with the northern part of the zone, and then we'll head out to the uh, two islands, which is the kind of the southern end. We got a trailer here. Can't remember if I've been to this one. I don't think I have been. Lots of points along the way to warm up and though if, when it's really cold, but. Not too bad right now. And we barely scratched the surface of places you can go. Like, we've only hit Mystery Lake and Coastal Highway. And these are big zones, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff left to explore. Is this new? New, yeah, new location. Okay, we'll grab the goods. Grab the goods. Oh, tools, I'll take those. Sweatshirt. Uh, this is kind of garbage stuff, but we'll take it. Tea? Tea's good. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I know, I know. I'll leave that. Newspaper is pretty useless, uh, except for making Tinder. Oh, there's some boots down here. Trail boots. Trail boots are really good. Okay, let's see. We're carrying around so many boots now. Decent work boots. All this gear is slowing me down. New trail boots. Yeah, these are damn good. Let's let's compare these. Okay, I lied. They're not that great. <laughs> Cause these ones are. These ones are not fully repaired. These are only 0.9 and they're almost perfect. They're better wind resistant, more water resistant. 
Not as good as defense. That's actually good. He's I can barely to walk with this much gear. He's actually really warm. Hmm. Tough but not warm, even though it says 1.7. Hmm. I thought these would be warmer. Oh, these are warmer versus. Yeah, these are really warm. Hmm. It really depends on what you want to, what you want out of your boots. <laughs> but like super overweight. The moisture resistance is really nice, and they're lighter. I think I'm gonna actually break these down. One hour thirty minutes. What time of day is it? It's kind of a waste of. Uh, maybe we should bring it with us. I don't know. Excellent. Bandage. A rando bandage there. <clears throat> Another can opener. We already have one. Fire striker. Ooh. I think that's our second one. Uh, probably missing stuff here. Hit hiding. There's pills and stuff we can break down, but I think I'm just going to leave. Or should we break down those work boots? I think I'll break them down. We're gonna lose a bit of daylight doing that and break down this stuff. Ten minutes. For the cloth. And uh, what else are we carrying around here? Sports socks. Well, uh, I guess we'll harvest those. Maybe we'll spend the night here? But I think I'm going to break down these, even though they're warmer. I think we're going to go with the trail boots. A little bit Nobody lighter. Need to rest soon. Not the defense isn't as great. I think I'll keep the work combat boots, <clears throat> but uh, we'll wear the trail boots for now. And let's eat some food. Drink this. And we might get food poisoning from this. Nuts and stuff. Let's try it. We were lucky. Uh, we didn't get it. Let's keep eating here. And drink some water. We still got some daylight, so we'll keep going here. We are getting pretty tired, though. Pretty tired. Let's map here. Okay, we're really close to where we started. Hmm. There's a trailer here. Uh, we didn't map the other trailer. Which way do you have now? 49. Okay, we're under the... Just under the sprinting... Basky. Uh, we're about to fall asleep, though, because we're so tired. Maybe we can drink some coffee. Not sure if this is the way. This does not look like a road. <laughs> we will go this way though. I think we're gonna things making me feel tired. Turn around and head back up here because there's this is where we started in the zone up here, I think. I shouldn't be sprinting so much because it burns calories faster and makes us exhausted, but I uh, want to get through as much as we can. Yeah, this is where we started out, I think. I think I shimmied down this hill. But I forgot to map the trailer that we slept in the first night in the zone. So we'll head up there and do that and stay the night there. And then there's some stuff in the western end of the zone. There's like a bear. Okay, the highway's right there, so we're not that high up, actually. This might not be where I shimmy down. I can't quite remember. I think it is, though. I 
since we're slow walking here. Slow walk. Pretty sure. Whoa, 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 crap. I have auto walk on. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, auto walk. No, you failed me. <laughs> Can we get back up? Uh, okay, good. <laughs> okay. Continue this way. Don't auto walk off cliffs. <laughs> There's a few um, accessibility settings in the game that actually help quite a bit. I'll just mention them really briefly here. Accessibility. Uh, interaction type. So when you interact stuff, the default is to hold, like click and hold, which like wears out your finger. And auto walk is off by default, I think, but it's pretty nice. And there's a struggle input type. The default is quick tapping, so you have to like hammer the mouse, but if you don't want to do that, you can just press and hold. Makes a, makes a big difference for wolf struggles, you just hold the mouse button down. So those uh, definitely help if you've got like... If you play games a lot and your mouse hand gets a workout. I kind of hate interactions that are press and hold, to be honest. Okay, the road goes up here. But also goes down. I think we want to go this way. I definitely want to go up, that's for sure. But it also goes up that way. Hmm. Where does this go? A bridge up here? E maybe, maybe not. I barely move with all this gear. Okay, that goes back up that way. Spring risk. Let's just go this way. We're kind of getting lost, but that's okay. I know roughly where I am. Actually, let's do a little map here. where we are. Okay, yeah, we're here. Yeah, we want to get up here. And we're pretty exhausted now. We could even sleep outdoors. It's like warm enough, 10 degrees. We are crawling, crawling along. <laughs> I think we want to my energy is just go up that way. You know what, let's just sleep for a bit. I don't usually want to sleep in the ground, but sleep for a couple hours. Get some uh, condition back. It will get late. There's a danger of, um, at least on interloper, <clears throat> if you sleep, uh, you can kill yourself by sleeping if it gets too cold. But on this difficulty, I think it wakes you up before you die and tells you you're going to freeze to death. I think one of you mentioned that in the comments, actually. We're just trucking along at a snail's pace. Okay, here's it a trailer. Like is sapping my energy. This is not the trailer we want, but this is a trailer. The one we want is higher up. And then we'll kind of go down the western side of the zone because there's like a campground there I think we can we have to map can't remember if I've been in this one I think I have let's find out I think we stopped that on the way in yes we did let's uh take a look actually you know what there's the bed right there. We'll look in the morning when we have fresh daylight. But let's eat some food. Actually, let's just drink some water. Sleep for 10 hours. C 
see if we get some daylight. It is sun's coming up. We can sleep a little bit more here. Should be bright now. Yep. Let's let's drink. Maybe we should eat some food that's liquidy. Get these tomato soup. It's better to heat these up if you're going to go into cold weather, but it's pretty warm out, I think. We haven't bit, been hit with a blizzard for a while, so chances are we're going to get hit with a blizzard pretty soon. Top up our fluids. It's still a little bit dark in here. I guess we'll use our lantern. we got lots of fuel. Pretty sure I searched this somewhat thoroughly. Left a ski jacket behind. Yeah, we searched all this. Okay, let's head out. It's, oh, it's way brighter outdoors than indoors. Okay, it's actually quite Goodness. cold. Minus 14. We made it through another night. I'm gonna map here real quick. Okay, that's that trailer. There's the trailer up here. Train unloading. Maybe we did map this already. Maybe I did map. I think the trailer is right here, actually. Maybe we don't need to go up there. Let's hop inside here first and check our... Check our list of things we have to map. Survey locations. Force reveal. Coastal highway. Okay, this campground's in the west... Log sort. Log sort, I think, is uh, in the south. Two crumbling highway. Hmm. That's in the far east, southeast. I think we got everything in this area, so we're gonna. I'm gonna pass time, actually. So it warms up a bit. And then we'll sleep for an hour. Hopefully, the blizzard doesn't roll in. Is still minus eight, but that's a lot better than uh, what it was. So we're gonna head west. Now we're gonna go right back to the beginning of the zone, and then there's a path that leads down the western side. I'm gonna use kind of like well, you'll see. You'll see. going all the way up so that we can go down the other side. <laughs> we'll probably just jump down here, but we'll go this way. Through the towards the ravine again. Man, we really need to drop some stuff. <laughs> Maybe we'll eat some more and drop some weight. The crackers, I think, last forever as well. They don't rot. I am carrying around a lot of firewood, which is probably not necessary. And the combat boots are extra weight. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of extra weight here. We are running low on food, but there's food back, lots of food back at base. I think we cooked up an entire bear. So... I think by the time we get... Back to base, we'll... Well, we not, might need some food along the way. How many... We got 20 cattail stocks. That'll last us quite a while. And those crackers we eat. Up, up and away. I think we'll do Pleasant Valley next. Because <clears throat> it's connected to the zone. And then from Pleasant Valley, we can go to Timberwolf Mountain. There's lots of good loot, Timberwolf Mountain at the peak. And then from there, we'll go to 
Either Black Rock or Ash Cannon. Maybe Black Rock first? I'm not really sure. I haven't been really diligent picking up my rifle shell casings. But uh, I'll try to be better at that as we go forward because eventually maybe we can make our own ammo. You know, we'll need those casings. Okay, we're back at the top. Again. Back at the top. Pretty sure I mapped here. You know what? We'll take a quick nap in the trailer. Quick nap in the trailer. Yeah, we already mapped this. Because we're sounding pretty tired here. Looking pretty tired as well. This is where I left my charcoal. I'll take it? Two charcoal? We'll sleep an hour to warm up. Now in the western side of the zone, I don't think there's much in terms of sleeping accommodations, so it's a little bit risky. can eat again. Let's eat these crackers. And drink some water. We also have calories in the form of teas if we really get low. And we can always lose our well-fed buff, but then we'll be crawling even more. Now it's in the a it's the afternoon now, or at least noonish. Pretty sure I check this guy, but uh, let's just look at the feathers. Apparently, there's enough batteries in the game from cars which contain lead. Just read about this last night to make 2,000 bullets, and then bullets plus casings plus gunpowder makes uh, ammunition. So we could probably go a long time with the hunting rifle and the revolver. Probably don't need to carry both around. Right now we have three weapons. <laughs> I hear a waterfall. So we're kind of back to where we started here, by the ravine. I think this is the last episode we came in here. Or the one before it, can't remember. And then we're gonna go, there's a path that goes down here. Down the western edge of the zone. And there's a campground here. I haven't been here in my other playthrough yet. It's been a while since I went here. You can go down there, but I think you can also go down up here. Maybe, I don't know if there's a rock there. Nope, I gotta go here. This is the path down. Sprain wrist. We're probably gonna break our ankle because we carry so much stuff. There's a little nook in here. Nice little sheltered spot if you need it. Get out of the elements. Yeah, so I haven't been here in a very long time. 2017 maybe was the last time I was here. So definitely not that familiar. We'll probably get lost a little bit. Oh, we got some... Some cat's t cattail stalks along here. Oh, there's some stuff under the bridge. Let's go check this out. We will check all the nooks and crannies. Probably gonna need this food to keep well fed. I don't like eating my cattail stalks. They're more for emergencies. tend to eat the food that we find and meet first. Okay, I don't think we can get up here. Okay. Down we go. Let's run down here. Mm. Oh, more food. More food, more tinder. What's our campfire skill at? Let's check. 
Fire starting two. We want to get cooking to five so that we can eat without any risk of food poisoning. I guess we'll just follow the river down here. <clears throat> So I'm hearing some birds, which usually means they're a corpse somewhere. Did I miss a corpse? Oh, he's right here. And another rifle. Holy crap. Feels like a lot of gear. Now we're super overweight, but we gotta take this rifle with us. Backup rifle. <laughs> Good thing the crows were there. How much weight are we up to now? 52. <laughs> We'll drop that spare rifle back at base. Now I don't know if I have to map this region down here. But we will. I think there's anything named along here. Oh, I see some saplings. Pretty cold right now. Okay, so we're right down here. <clears throat> Should we get this out? Uh, probably. We're not probably not going to use it anytime soon, but since we're here, we'll grab it. We'll pack rat it, pack rat it, uh, hoard it. It's a maple. Maple is used for making the bow. Somewhat rare to find. The birch saplings are much more plentiful. Those are what you use to make arrows. Okay, we can't run anymore because we're so overburdened. <laughs> we'll schlep all this stuff back to our home base. Drop it off at some point here. Warming up again, that's good. The scenic, the slow scenic tour. Looks like the weather's getting a little bit nastier, even though it's. Oh, one degree, yeah, that's pretty cold. Down we go. Like there's something ahead. We're gonna hoard it. We're gonna hoard it all. What is that? That looks like an animal right ahead. Maybe? It's not moving though. Might be a sleeping bear. Okay, which way to go? Left or right? What is that up ahead? Oh, maybe it's just a stump. Kind of looks like a furry bear, but I think it's just a stump. We're gonna go this way, follow the river. There might be stuff down there, but we're gonna follow the river. We are getting cold now. Oh, we got. Sometimes you'll find coal along rivers. Snail's pace. We could drop some wood, but I'm probably going to need to light a fire at some point here. So that'll lighten the load. We probably have a lot of extra tinder we don't need. Let's just check here. We've got 11 of these and 9 of these. 0.5. Uh, let's drop all these. We can always make tinder out of sticks, and sticks are everywhere. Got a bit of a windshield here. Okay, we got some rabbit's head. <clears throat> got some bunnies. Bro, 
probably should do some mapping here. Oh, it's warm. See where we are. Okay, yeah, we're down here. I think this is the western edge of the zone, so... Bunnies. Uh, we could have them for dinner. Can't run though. Uh, got him. <laughs> Hunting rabbits while you can't sprint is a bit of an issue. Oh my gosh, we got so much stuff. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous at this point. How much stuff? 55 kilograms. <laughs> We're like a. Oh, there's another bunny. We're like a walking house. We're not gonna be able to get this guy unless we get really close. We're gonna get right up in front of him. Come here, you. Oh, we got him. <laughs> we got him. Now we stink. So wildlife is gonna want to come after us. I thought there'd be like a li li uh, named location around here somewhere. picking up that uh, tinder even though I don't need it. Let's uh... We're gonna shed some more here. It's kind of ridiculous. There's a campground around here somewhere in the western part of the zone. Okay, we're looking for a little sheltered spot. Oh, this is sheltered here. Let's start a fire. Let's start a fire. We got all this firewood to get rid of. We'll use accelerant. Why not? Birch bark? No, I don't use that. Now the wind might change. Let's use some of this heavy wood here. Uh, fur. We won't add it just yet. Let's boil some water. Just a little bit. Boil some water, and we're gonna harvest some of that meat. Eight minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna take the pelts and the guts with us because pretty heavy. Uh, don't melt it. Let's do another harvest here. Where's my other guy? Oh, he's right here. Cook him up. Okay, how's that water? Six minutes to boil. Grab that. Cook up that meat. And how long? 26 minutes. Plop a log on the fire here. Heavy log. Seven minutes. Okay, that's a little piece. I'll eat that right away. Two pieces after that. Three minutes. Another tiny piece. We'll eat that right away. Those were the residual pieces. Okay, and then this last piece. 27 minutes. 10 minutes. Let's, uh... Should we harvest the rest? Um... I think I'm gonna leave the rest. And let's just pass time here. Eat that. Eat this. I've got so many guts back at base that I don't really need those. And I don't normally like to waste food or materials, but the show must go on. Let's take a tour. Here's the campground. Found the campground right in front of my face. Okay, we definitely have to map this. Let's 
see what's around here. Oh, there's a weird... It's showing up some stuff over here. I don't think we can get here, though. What do we have here? It looks pretty destroyed. Got a backpack up here. I can still eat this. Some food. We'll grab a fresh torch here. Torches give you a little tiny bit of warmth. Okay, that was a crappy one. Let's get a good one. That one's pretty good. So this is the edge of the zone, I think. So we'll just kind of follow this down. Oh, I hear the wolves. Hear the wolves. Like I said, I haven't been in this area in a long time, so... Some mushrooms we can grab. Good for teas. We'll grab them, since we'll probably never be back here again. Add to the load. How much weight are we have now? 52, okay. We burned some wood, that's good. Lighten the load a little bit. Ground looks pretty, uh, pretty busted up. Or well, maybe not, actually. Okay, this looks like it's the entrance, so maybe we'll just head down this way. Looks like a road of sorts. What's down here, though? What is down here? Anything? Looks like a cliff. Uh, oh, that's the river. Some cattail stalks there while we go on. Let's follow the river. Probably should have grabbed the charcoal from my fire because I think we're running low now. Three left. I'm not used to grabbing so much charcoal. I guess we'll hug the west side of the zone here as we go. Follow that river. Oh, I see a building up ahead. So we'll check that out. For sure. This is a nice, nice little meandering river. Do I have any spare torches on me? Um, we got three. I'll keep the torch lit in case we encounter a wolf. I should probably stop collecting these. <laughs> but they're the they're the best food in the game, really. They're super lightweight and they never rot. Pretty amazing. We'll probably continue following the river, so I just want to go see what this building is. As we slowly walk along here. I'm getting pretty tired too. Maybe it's a building we can sleep in, even though the well, sun's starting to go down. It's this extra rifle that's really, and the combat boots that are really weighing us down. Should we get rid of the combat boots? You know what? I'm gonna get rid of these. We should salvage them actually. Maybe, maybe in the uh, in this building. 
There are better boots out there. There's the Mukluk, there's the deerskin boots I think are nicer. Not for defense, but we don't really need a lot of defense on this difficulty level. What do we got here? What's this cabin gonna be? I hear wolves as well. Is it something we can go inside? Maybe. This is a pretty remote cabin. It's out of the way. Let's change our torch up. We got a bazillion players on us as well, which are pretty heavy. We only need a couple on us. There's a corpse over there. Some sort. Yeah, so combat boots are pretty nice. They're pretty slow, but they have great defense. Pretty good warmth. Okay, what is this place? This is... Cabin. Simply named. Wonder if this I is see any good some to coffee. Coffee's amazing. We love coffee. Revolver cartridge. I'm going to. How are we doing for food? Pretty low. We'll eat this bad peanut butter. Hopefully, we won't get food poisoning. We didn't. Can hear my actual stomach growling. Could light a fire with this torch. How are we doing for fluids? Uh, probably fine. I want a map, but it's going to make my torch grow out. Uh, one way to save a match is just to light a fire. We we'll use. Uh, we should save accelerant for emergencies. 70% with the crappy matches. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was going to show you to, that we could have saved a match by using the torch, but uh, Come on. that was stupid. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's do it the right way this time, even though we just wasted a match. This torch is about to go out, though. Ah, uh, let's use Accelerant. Why not? We don't really need this fire, uh, but we'll uh, add some coal, waste some coal. And why did I light this? Uh, for a torch so I get a map. But you know what? We're probably going to spend the night here. There we go. Oh, that's that opened up a lot. Okay. So we're going to go down here. This is the bottom southwest corner, I think. And then we'll head back home, drop the rest of the stuff off. Maybe we'll boil some water here. We can drop those cans as well. What are we doing for time? Getting close to the hour. Okay, we're gonna take that. This gear is starting to slow me down. I am gonna spend the night here. And we're gonna break down those. Oh, what's this? Old fashioned parka. That sounds really, really good. I could use this. I think it's gonna be better than this, this simple parka after we repair it. Okay, that's enough daylight to do it. Uh, well, yeah, I think so. We'll try another repair here. We'll probably fail because the light. Lay down. Yeah. But we can break down the boots in the dark, I think. This will lighten, lighten our load a bit. Okay, um... Let's eat. Eat, drink, sleep. Get some daylight so we can search the rest of this place. An aurora. I heard an aurora. Uh, let's drink 
Let's sleep a bit more here. Let's try for four hours. We'll see what we get here. We want daylight. We got daylight. Okay, repairs. Let's repair this thing to full full strength and then we can prepare it. I think it's going to be better though. Decent. Uh, we're at 87%. Let's go all the way. Let's go to 100%. We're a failure. Okay, we're back to new. How does this compare? Three. Three warmth. Three wind. 20 moisture. So not as great for waterproofness. But definitely warmer. Let's harvest this. There's even better jackets out there, but that's pretty damn nice. Let's make sure to wear that. Okay, and defense on this thing is 5%. The military is 8%, so we'll wear that on the outer layer. Let's check the rest of our gear here. These socks can use a repair. If you run out of sewing kits, you can make... Um, still need some long underwear and some better pants here. This needs a repair big time. Yeah, if you run into sewing kits, you can use fishing tackle to repair as well. Oh, my hats. This one needs a repair. Yeah, you definitely want to keep your gear in tip-top shape. Otherwise, uh... I think I can use this. Otherwise, you're just getting cold unnecessarily. Okay, let's check some other stuff here. Uh, what do we got in here? Anything? We definitely need some long underwear. That would be a good find. That's not long underwear. We got another flare here. Oh my gosh. The weight. Excellent. Two sodas. It's a bear. Oh no. Hiding under the bed. Don't think so. I think we got it all. It's starting to weigh me down. How's our weight? 50. I think we can drop some cans here. Drop some cans. What else can we get rid of? Grab the charcoal. Don't forget the charcoal. Hello. Hello. We got one. Did we map this area? Don't think I mapped it. Yeah, we mapped it. So we're going to continue to head down the river. I think we can sprint again. Yay! Now is this the right way? Yes, I think this is back towards the river. We'll drop a stick and see. Do I have any sticks? Yeah. So that is north. So we're heading west, that's good. We're sprinting, can you tell? <laughs> Let's eat some food here, that's my stomach. Grumbling away. We'll eat everything that we have, we're kind of low on food now, except for the cattails. Oh, I should have drank soda instead. Oh well. Down the river, down to the highway, and then... Uh, We'll be out of time. Definitely carrying way too much stuff. Not recommended. It looks like there's a little place up in there. Up by that tree. Now I don't know if that's anything like a named area, but we'll just take a little peek in here. I suspect it's nothing, but we'll check. Don't break your ankle. Some, sometimes there's like little secluded areas like this. Uh, is this anything? Hmm. 
Hmm, this looks like it could be something. This kind of might be the trail that we... Let's just do a quick map. There are hidden caches. At least in Mystery Lake there are hidden caches. Okay, I don't think that was anything. I wonder what this is, though. Maybe the other zone? The edge of the other zone? We'll also check in here. This looks like it might be something. Not really. Back on the river. Back on the river. Now that is the one hour mark, but I do want to get to like something new before we finish. We're burning so much energy uh, carrying all this crap around. Leaving that tinder behind. Looks like a poop, poop, uh, breadcrumb trail. Poop trail. We're gonna be eating cattails forever. This is just backup food though. If you didn't know, I didn't know this for the longest time until I saw someone doing it. But, uh, you can double click to eat stuff. Eat one of these. Eat another one, why not? Got so many of them. We'll store most of them at the gas station and just carry maybe 10 of them around with us. I think there might be a bear around here actually. There might be a bear around here. There's a cave here. This might be a bear cave. Is it even a cave at all? No, that's not a cave. This log goes up under a rock though, but I don't think there's anything up there. But we gotta look. Why would they put a log here otherwise, right? Unless they were gonna hide something up here. Uh, I don't think there's anything there. Back down. We go. And we're down at the ocean level again. That's good. This is good. Now, I think we got everything we needed from the western side of the zone there. I hope. I don't want to go back. Let's do... Should we map? How much charcoal? Two. Oh, I see bunnies. I see bunnies. Oh, there's so many bunnies. Look at them all. We don't need them. We'll leave them in peace. Okay, where are we though? It looks like the highway goes a little bit that way. Let's do a quick map here. Rabbit Grove. Oh, you know what? I think that was... I don't think that was a named location. Let's double check here. Surveyed locations. Uh, close to highway. What's left? Quite a bit. Two crumbling highway. Rockfall. I don't know where Rockfall is. To be honest. Maybe there's something at the very far west of the highway. 
I hear the wolves. Maybe Rock Ball is here. <laughs> At the end of the highway. <coughs> There's a car there as well. We'll check that out on the way back. That's the ocean. Now I think you can do this thing called beach combing, where you can find random items along the ocean. There's a wolf right there. I don't think this is rock ball. I don't think this is anything up ahead. I'm gonna need to rest soon. We'll go here though, because this is the very western edge. We'll do a map and then we'll start heading back along the highway back to our home next time. This might indeed be a rock ball. I don't know. It certainly looks like the highway is out. This might be it actually. It certainly looks like some giant. Oh, this is rock ball. Okay. Good. Bang one off the list. Rock ball. That is the westernmost point. Okay. We are going to wrap it up there. I am exhausted uh, in the game. <laughs> Not in real life. Um, and next episode we'll continue on along the highway. Like I said, there's some islands here. Actually, we'll get back to... You know what? Hmm. The responsible thing to do would be go all the way back here, drop the stuff, and then do our exploring. But there's some points along the highway that I should probably explore. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, hit the like button. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.